Hey guys, welcome to another episode. We are at Tyler's Pass Lookout, um, looking over Goss Bluff in the background, um, or Norella. And yeah, we're about to head down there. Hopefully, apparently it's a um, pretty treacherous track, so we're gonna gauge it. We'll go down and see if we can make it in our vehicles, but if not, um, I'm not too sure what we're gonna do. Maybe walk it or just fly the drone over or something like that. So, see you there. Do you reckon it looks pretty soft or compacted? So we've pretty much nearly made it to the crater. Um, yeah, we're in two-wheel drive obviously, so it's just really corrugated. We've been taking it slow. The sand has been pretty compacted. Um, touch wood. So yeah, hopefully we can make it all the way. Here we are at the centre of the crater of Norella, aka Goss Bluff. Um, kind of hard to see or get like a perspective of, of everything when you're like inside it. Um, so I'll try, I'm, I'm going to try find like a bit of a hill to get on. Uh, there is a walking track which I'm trying to find. So I've found the um, one of the walking trails. It's taken me up, I don't know, a pretty small little mountain, which we, as you can already see, it's a really good viewpoint. It's only about a couple of minutes from the uh, parking area, so that's good. And here's the top of the viewpoint, 360 degree views inside the crater. Probably the best spot you could be. How amazing is this? Almost don't even need a drone. So according to the information boards, it says that this was created 140 million years ago by a meteorite impact, which created this humongous uh, crater. Hey! our camp spot for the night it's called gravel pit there's a little bit of gravel over there and that mean that's why it's called gravel pit get a nice view of Norella in the background free camping here one night we're just having a bit of a downtime now before dinner I'm just uh, uploading some footage and some stuff to edit and edit some photos in Lightroom. And then later we're gonna have a little fire cook up on the campfire. If you're wondering about the table setup, um, it's just Lagun. The brand is Lagun and yeah, I just built this, I just chopped this uh, table up from Bunnings, um, a bench top, cut it to size. Yeah, it's a really good table. I really recommend Lagun. I think they're actually a boat brand. Um, a boat brand slash RV, so definitely a solid um, build. They're quite expensive though, but yeah, it does the job. High light in the fire, mate. This is gonna give us a bit of a uh, light for the night. Yep, sun's going down in the back. We'll take over with the campfire. Oh, love a good campfire. <laughs> Those eucalyptus leaves burn really well. Yeah, because they got oil in them. Mm. 
they get like nice dry ones. They're, they? Yeah, they're even like semi. They're not like completely dry, eh? They're, they're nah, like... they've still got a little bit in it. But they burn really hot too, so it's really good for starting fires. Yeah. I usually, when I find like a like branch on the ground, I'll pick it up and just leave it on my dashboard ready to go for a yeah. fire. I saw you have been. <laughs> Check out this sunset. Absolutely beautiful. So we actually ran into some friends from the Sunshine Coast um, back in Ormiston Gorge, just out of the blue. So we got Bree and Ty with us. They're just traveling for a little bit. And it's good to have some company because on the road, you don't have too many mates generally on the road. So to see people we know on the road in the middle of nowhere is quite crazy. Um, yeah, we're having a campfire tonight. Going to cook on the campfire grill and enjoy this beautiful sunset. Good morning guys, I just wanted to show you this sunrise, it's absolutely beautiful with the clouds. Ah. Look at that. Beautiful. Hey guys, we're on the way to Kings Canyon. Um, part of the, like a fair chunk of the road between where we are and Kings Canyon is unsealed and we've heard it can get pretty corrugated so we just want to go there, check it out and see if we can actually get across it in our vehicles and hopefully we can. If not, unfortunately we'll have to go back to Alice and then get to all the road Kings Canyon from the south so we've got our fingers crossed that we can, can actually cross it. Putting our tyres down. Getting this pressure nice and low, mate. And flying over those grooves. Tyres putting this to 30. There we go. Nice. Bob's your uncle. I've chucked my front tyres to 40 and I'm putting my back ones back down to 40.
Bella 95 a litre. Good morning guys, today we are at King's Canyon um, and there's a few different walks to choose from but I am going to do King's Canyon Rim Walk. It's the longest one, it says it takes three to four hours but um, they generally overestimate with their how long things take so hopefully it's not that long but I think this one may be the most uh, beneficial or the nicest one, I guess. Means Canyon Rim Wharf. So we've got to go up those steps there. So that's where we started over there. There's the car park. Interesting looking rocks here, rock formations. <clears throat> so there's tons of information signs that tell you all about uh, each national park and every all the things about it, how it was created. Um, I think I'm gonna start putting, like recording those information signs so that you guys can pause the video and find out about it. Um, I do know that from what I've read so far is that Central Australia was cov covered under shallow sea a long, long time ago. And that sign there just said 400, 400 million years ago, it was, um, this area was like sand dunes, very windy. So that would have been, would have been after it was uh, a sea. So the walk is starting to get pretty interesting, especially just looking at these mounds here. Like, look at that. Quite interesting looking, aren't they? Is the first big lookout. Um, we originally started down there um, and we've come all the way up that way so there's that first valley that we were in when we first started. It's uh, 15 metres roughly. here. So it's evidence that there was once a shallow lake seabed here. One of those ripples. It's pretty amazing actually. So this uh, marker says that three kilometers from here. So we still have a long walk to go. So 
So now we are on the other side of the valley. Before I, I reached up to the end of the end before I had to turn back and I went around, down and come back through this way. So now we're on the other side and it looks like we're heading that way. So that's the end of our journey. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, so many beautiful places that we visited. Narala, crossing the Marini Loop and of course Kings Canyon. So I'm really, really glad you guys tuned in. If you liked it, like and subscribe. Um, and I'll see you in the next episode, guys. We're heading to Uluru. See ya.